Let's get out of here. We'll pick up her.
Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. You see, Hunwald's back. Drinking and so this is Hunwald's safe haven. Though we be a Mercian shire today, tomorrow the kingdom of Lindsay will rise again. As... Unwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me. One of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvald's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We're going to see your father, Hunwald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunwald, I don't know your friend here, and not knowing him, I don't trust him. I'm his voice of reason, Eivor. And I've told him a thousand times... It's too dangerous for him in Lincolnshire. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's site. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here she'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! <laughs> All right, a quick brawl to get familiar with the local dregs. Be <laughs> Won't think twice about it. Nothing welcomes us more into the day than a swift bruising. Is this what it means to be your friend? <laughs> we shall triumph, Abel. We shall win this ugly row. <laughs> to challenge this one. My bladder is bursting. I must step outside for a long distance. Hornwald, do not want... Clear out, all of you, before you kick up a fire. Jesus, my bones are aching. Could use a dip in the sea. Shut your hinge, chill. And stop dripping blood in my hall. I told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Did you hear that scream? Ah! Hunwald's in trouble. They call. Leave him be! Be ready. Just in case. Jesus! He's brought a bloody dame! Let's oh, keep our wits about with his crooned within an inch of my life! But I will survive! 
survive. I must continue as you would, Eivor. And if I should not fire, avenge me. I live! I am alive! Heaven have mercy! Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Buttlestone will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Hunwald, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? There! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and told me plainly... Start anew elsewhere, or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Hunwald. I cannot help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never! No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right, he's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane, lady love. Right. Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. If they see me, this will get messy. Everywhere. Follow me. Oh, right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat. <coughs> oh! On the yeah, from me in the park there! <laughs> what do you see, Sunan? This town is your home? It was, and should still be. Oh, to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I will walk proudly among the people I love. Oh. How was your father the last time you saw him? He was quite poorly. But he has the heart of a lion and the Holy Spirit itself within him.
jammed. Need to get on the other side. Stretch your wings, Sunan. I have barely enough silver to buy pink from those bandit smugglers. They hoard everything. Hunwald! Praise God you live! I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? Oh, I dare not go asking after him, for fear of stepping above my caste. But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess and her sisters and all. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there, at the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. <laughs> Who was that fellow? <laughs> He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. Hey! Meet your oh, fate! How can a place I once called home look so alien to me now? So harsh and unwanting. Fear not, Lincoln. You. I shall Let's make you mine you. again. <laughs> Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place, and he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. Show me. Lincoln seems a good place to trade. Does it? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Hey, what? Lay off! Oh, you swear that! Condemn Nabitur in... We never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and... Archer! Herevrith! Tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned! My lord, you're well. Lord Hunwag, you should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I have no patience for insults and rumor. We've come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That's all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Unwald. 
In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwar. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. If I meant to murder you, these stones would be slick with your gore already. Such violence. Good heavens! God must have purpose for you pagans in his holy plan, but I confess to utter bafflement. Hanwald, your father was at my hospice for a time, but he left of his own accord, without saying a word. That's all we know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I will have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Hunwal's father was recuperating here not long ago. Oh, God! recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Do you know where your Elderman is? I can tell you a few things. But not here in the open. Follow me. This is far enough. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know loads of things about our elderman. I know his favorite foods. I know when his bedclothes get changed. And I know he hates being bled with leeches. That sort of thing. But where has he gone? Ah, where? I have no bloody idea. Is that what you asked me? Forget it. Huh. Are you the head sister here? 
Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here. I will look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. Mercians, nobles use our tunnels, if you ask me. Uh, what choice hey! do we have? Oh. Another customer served! These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Oh, oh, ah, damn it! This place is heavily guarded. More Mercians traipsing across our routes. Can't piss from here to Bolingbroke without someone demanding someone. Oh, this trap is made smuggling a difficult job. Smuggling will always be difficult. I prefer it to pay in tribute. Never again will we bend to the mercy and crown. Oh, hey! Go! 
Godless, useless. Don't you? was fighting here. About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits did not fare so well. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the elder men passed this way. I know a lonely door that would love to meet this key. Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbrook Castle. Mercy and nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles, but it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off, but he got away and headed east for Bolingbrook Castle. That's my best lead. Ah, fresh air. Yeah. 